Hi, this is Dr. Breen of the Breen Center of Optimal Health. I wanted to make a quick video today about testosterone replacement for men, specifically oral testosterone. Recently, I've been getting a lot of ads on my Facebook feed from a company called Life Force. It's a new men's hormone replacement or testosterone replacement clinic. I think Tony Robbins is behind it. And I'm looking at these ads and they're advertising oral testosterone, which is interesting because I've been prescribing testosterone now since 2008 to both men and women. And for years, we've just never used oral testosterone. One, because it had caused liver pathology in the literature, but two, because creams and injections, you get such good levels. And so there's a new product called Kaisatrex, which is being offered to men to boost their testosterone levels. And you know, I'm looking at their website, and their website basically says, oral TRT is here, no injections, no creams, no gels, no more excuses. It really made me think like, wow, maybe this new product is fantastic. Let me look into it because I've only prescribed injections and topical creams for men because they work so well. And when you actually look at the literature, when I went and looked at the literature and the science and the studies of what the actual levels were achieved when you give oral testosterone, at 200 milligrams twice a day, the average circulating testosterone level in men after 90 days, this is per their package insert in their literature, was 396. And when you looked at the curve, it looked like their levels stayed somewhere between 300 to 600 throughout the day, which puts them in the normal range, which is essentially what androgel. Androgel was a topical gel, testosterone gel for men, and it was the most widely prescribed testosterone for the traditional medical community, but it would only give men's produced levels in the, you know, in the 400s or 500s, or it would bring them from 200 to 400. Men said that they felt a little bit different, but not significantly better, like we see with testosterone gels and creams. And so it got me thinking like, well, what is the reason why they're using oral testosterone? And I just think everyone's angling for a new market. And I think this is obviously something that's new. Now they can advertise to men, no more messes, no more shots, no more messy creams. You just take a pill twice a day. And ultimately what I think is gonna happen is this clinic's gonna fail because if you prescribe testosterone up to men like I have done for the last 15 years, and I have a ton of colleagues who I speak to that are in this market, you gotta get their levels optimal. And in order to do that, the only way you're gonna do that is to give them injection or use a transcortical cream at 100 milligrams twice a day or testosterone sipionate somewhere between, you know, 60 to 100 milligrams twice a week. And that's when we really see the reductions in visceral fat. That's when we see men's libidos take off off the charts. That's when we see the improvement in bone density in men. I've never seen men really, really improve significantly when you bring their levels from 200 to 400 or from 400 to 550. Now, in younger men, 600 testosterone levels may be perfectly fine and there's many reasons for that. You know, as we age, the whole system of how hormones bind to receptors and cause a cell to do what that cell is supposed to do degrades over time and we don't have ways of measuring that. But in my experience, you're never gonna run a successful testosterone practice even if you get patients eating clean and exercising, if you're getting their levels to 600. So I have no experience prescribing this. I'm just speaking purely off my experience, looking at thousands and thousands of hormone levels over time and prescribing testosterone to thousands of men. I would not recommend oral testosterone if your average levels throughout the day are gonna be around 396. You're just not gonna get where you need to be. Now, if you're deathly afraid of needles, there is zero reason why you can't use a transcortical or transdermal cream. You basically take two clicks of a topic click, you wipe it into your thigh, you rub some right into your scrotum, and you get great levels. It's really easy, it's not messy, and there's really no reason why you can't do that. So I just think that these clinics are angling for a different market and they're just trying to get market share. It's just, it's a marketing technique. But ultimately, I think most of the men that use oral testosterone are gonna figure out pretty quickly that it can't compare to when you use a 200 milligrams per gram topical testosterone cream or a 200 milligrams per gram of testosterone sipionate. So I do appreciate the fact that they're trying to help men, but ultimately I think you're gonna find that you're gonna be much better off with a cream or injection. If you like this video, please like it. If you wanna share it with someone that you know may be interested in testosterone, share it. Please subscribe to this channel. We're gonna be putting out a lot of content just like this throughout the years. And that's it, so have a great day. If you have questions, you can pick up the phone, call our office 877-721-0047 or go to our website, which is breencenter.com. Thank you. For more details and information, please contact us at 877-721-0047 or visit the FAQ section of our website at www.greencenter.com.